Right. Happy Monday, everybody. David E. Taylor, you're a piece of shit. All right, today what I'm talking about, guys, it's going to be kind of a short. I'm not going to go crazy long on this. I've had a few requests about putting a video out about Vicky Yohi. Who is Vicky Yohi? What is she to David? And yeah, uh, that's where we're going to start. So Vicky Yohi, <laughs> she's a psalmist. She was a singer. Nice voice. She did. She had a really nice voice, but she ended up getting tied up with David somehow. I'm still trying to figure that out, where, who, what, when, where, why, and how she got tied up with David. It sounds like what they were both trying to do was enrich, enrich their careers by having, you know, by showcasing each other on their platform. So, Vicky, <laughs> Vicky was just a concubine, guys. That's, that's all Vicky was. Vicky was a concubine, plain and simple. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what she did for David. She was a concubine. And that was it, the term, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. That's what Vicky is, guys, for the most part, okay? Once she found out that she wasn't the only woman, first it wasn't a cult, right? You guys have seen the videos of Vicky saying, oh, this isn't a cult, you know, David E. Taylor is, he's the way to God and this and that. And, you know, he's the true apostle and, you know, he does all these great things. <clears throat> But once he once Vicky found out he was sleeping with other women, the story changed a little bit, didn't it, Vicky? Then all of a sudden she's coming out saying, "Oh, this guy's a cult leader." And then Vicky, you know, again everybody here has probably seen a lot of the videos with Vicky falling over and stage saying, "I see Jesus, I see Jesus," and then she's falling over on the fucking stage, right? I th I I legit think Vicky was on drugs that night. Vicky looked fucked up that night, guys. That's just my opinion. Like her eyes were. F Sorry, Vicky. I, I'm I'm under the impression that you were under some sort of controlled substance, no doubt, um, just because of your erratic behavior and everything. Um, so, Vicky Yohi, who is she? Okay, she's a singer. Uh, she's a gospel singer. She has a beautiful voice, but again, got tied up. <clears throat> Thought she was the only one. I I had even heard, guys. Okay, don't quote me on this. That she had even adopted a black baby. I don't know if this is true or not, okay? And I don't know if this was... I don't know what her situation was with her ex-husband or what the case was. Um, but I think she had left her ex-husband to be with David, okay? That's that's kind of the story I've kind of heard through the grapevine, okay? Again, don't quote me on that. But just what's given the facts and everything. Um, you know, basic... Vicky pretty much screwed her own career up by... You know, by being with David. By being with David, you screwed your career up, Vicky, okay? So now what she's doing, she she wrote the book, You Have a Voice or I Have a Voice, and didn't, it was weak. It was, the book was poorly made. <clears throat> I heard some people bought it, and it was just shit. It was all the shit that she says online. Nothing of really any real... She was a woman scorned, guys. That's it. Woman scorned. Okay, so now she, that she's she's wrote her book... She's now doing some kind of Ponzi scheme, like multi-level marketing, vitamin, Ponzi, fat-burning medication selling scheme, okay? That's where she's at now. Um, don't know much about her at this point, as far as, you know, how, again, last thing I heard, she's doing her fat-burning medication thing, and that's it. Um, she's pretty quiet. She was kind of spearheading this whole whole movement in the beginning, but something happened. It's, it's almost... Vicky, Vicky wasn't going to do anything unless she was going to get something out of it. That's her thing. She's a scam artist just like David, guys, okay? Maybe a little less on the, on the manipulative side than David, but still, like, Vicky's a scam artist, man. She knew exactly what David was doing. There's no reason she didn't have to believe what David was doing was wrong. It was all the red flags were there, Vicky. You know that. We know that. So you can't sit here and play the victim, okay? So that's who Vicky Yohi is, guys. She was a psalm, she was a psalm singer. She was saying psalms for the church really very nice voice but got tied up with david okay went in there became one of the concubines no doubt you know what was praising and worshiping and with him saying he's the apostle and the prophet and the pastor and he's going to lead all these people to god right once she found out he was screwing around with other women she went public right saying oh this is now a full-blown cult he's sleeping with other women i've been shamed by these women all this and that and this is what they're doing he bought me this car and you know these red shoes and you know bought me all these gifts and all this and that but yet 
when the time came, Vicky, you didn't give any of that shit back. You kept it all. The right thing to do would for you to Ben had give back. Right, everything was in your name, but again, you were in it for the money, Vicky. I don't know how you could. For you to not see through this guy, Vicky, it's I, I have a hard time believing that you couldn't see the scam. Okay, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people do as well. How could you not see the scam, Vicky? You knew it was there. You knew exactly what David was doing, and you went along with it anyways. You know, and and what's the thing? Say Vicky was still there. You know, what if she did just keep her mouth shut? You know, but all the information I've gathered from people and. David, like, if he if he's do if he's meeting these women, he's maybe meeting up with them once or twice, and the first time is just to meet them, and the second time is to usually sleep with them, and that's it. It's like a one and done kind of deal with him. You have to pay. It's a pay to play. It's a pay to play process with him. You have to pay to get close to him. You have to pay a lot of money to get close to David. That's basically what it is. The more money you pay, the closer you get to him. You know, if you're and if you're beautiful, you become one of the concubines. So. That's just what happened to Vicky, most likely. She fell in, you know, she was one of his little play toys. And when he was done with her, he broomed her. Bottom line, that's it. She went public after she, you know, after she got broomed by David. And that's the story of Vicky Yohi. She's now running some kind of Ponzi scheme. That's it on that one, guys. She doesn't do much. She does Her YouTube channel isn't much, you know. She knows she ruined her reputation by doing what she did. She knew that. She knew that. And she should have just steered clear of David and she wouldn't be in any of this problems that, the problems that she's in right now where, you know, her her record label was semi-decent. Now it's, it's just not that much anymore. So, you know, uh, that's that's the story of Vicky, guys. That's pretty much it on her, man. It's, as I told you, it's going to be a short. Um, nothing new with the case. Uh, the jury's... It is going to jury trial, I think, on the 6th, I believe, is what I said last time. I think it was the 6th. Double check. I'm just going to keep you guys up to date on that. Yeah, I don't have it. <clears throat> I think it's going to be on the 6th, guys. I'll keep you updated on that. Nothing's changed, really. I've been getting more death threats, no phone calls, so that's on the good side you know um but you guys stay safe man have a good week i'll see y'all friday at 7 30 you guys have any questions comments concerns go ahead and drop them below um if you guys want me to answer some more questions go ahead and leave your questions below and i'll get to them on friday's chat all right so you guys have a safe week man y'all stay safe except you david e taylor hope you shit your pants man